Are okay, you so you said playing games, right? Yeah. It Here, is here's the thing that it sucks. What, what, see, I wish no, we could be honest with women. Okay. But the thing with women is that you guys are attracted to toxic things. No. Yes. Not oh, oh, really? Women. Yeah, no. Hold on, stop the show. Okay, What's no, the highest no. selling book for females? For females, I'm a woman. Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, you are, you are, you but are it's a, a fantasy. Everybody <laughs> has fantasy. It's, that, that does not have <laughs> any no, 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 hold on, hold on. Why is Fifty Shades of Grey the most popular female book? Because... Girls love to be dominated. Oh, yeah. oh I mean, okay. No, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, we but it's some only things. sexual. It's oh, not. It's no, no, no. But you, sex, you sexual gotta understand. in a relationship, it's two different things. Yeah, so but that's how you maintain sexual attraction in the relationship. Is you Sir, have to be have the things that Christian yeah. Gray has: dominant, assertive, successful. Uh, he's the one running the relationship. She likes him more than he likes her. Women find these things attractive, mm -hmm. right, right? Universally. Yeah. So okay, maybe I get that you guys might say, I don't all. like this. It's toxic or blah, blah, blah. But the reality is you're aroused and attracted to it. And that's what I'm telling guys to be. Because you, being a nice guy, you know, being with your girl all the time, always being available, it's not attractive. Okay. Women want a guy that they have can to I, chase. Can I tell you something? Yeah, sure. Okay, so, for example, I like boring, nice guy i don't not like uh, uh i i do i don't no. like bad guys i don't want, yeah you were in a no. relationship for eight years living eight with them years. what happened yeah oh my god <laughs> do you want me to tell you why we broke up it's pretty personal but uh it was pretty much my fault i was pretty i had a I was pretty toxic at some point. So you had a nice guy and you didn't yeah. like it. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. What, you cheated? It's, so why are we toxic? No, I yeah. didn't cheat it. He was nice. So why are you toxic? Okay, we, you... okay so not to give out all the story, Do but it. we, no, but uh, I had a phase in my life when I was a little bit toxic. Keep I was, it on to the street. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's, it's funny. You just said that you don't want toxic, that you want something calm. I was with him. You had a calm relationship and you yeah. started being toxic. There's Women. more to a relationship yeah, than just whether or not they're calm. Please, yeah. 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 I was with him for eight years, so it was a roller coaster. You know, it's not always perfect, but I was with him for eight years. I loved him for, for eight years. What did it you do that was toxic? What did I do that yeah. was toxic? What? I don't want to go into that. <laughs> okay, but basically, <laughs> women like drama. House. Women no, need no, like drama. But it's, it's like... Women need to be emotionally involved. They need to be invested like they're watching a drama movie. Like they're no, watching no, a movie. This is how you approach high school relationships. Exactly. How you approach healthy long-term relationships. She's a grown-ass sure. woman. Look what happened. Yeah, yeah okay. she knew the relationship. No, it was, it was, she was probably okay. the longest relationship with this entire was, table. Like it was deep. It was a really deep stuff. That a family stuff. It was like a big deal. So it was. I'm not going to explain and go into detail, but it was a um, valid reason. But it was not like I was looking for drama. It was like... You, you said know, you some... were toxic. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes stuff happen, you know, so... Well, I don't think that would have happened if you was living in a different place and you weren't getting his attention all the time. You probably would not have acted so toxic. You probably started acting toxic because you, you, got need, with them. you, you got needed bored. to have... No, you got bored. I you needed some emotional involvement. No, that's not true. I started acting toxic because of my trauma, some stuff that happened. Sometimes I do some stuff... Emotional damage. Sometimes I do some stuff, but everybody, like everybody, has their trauma. Everybody like react. Everybody gets triggered and like. So let me get this straight. You had a nice guy that yeah. was there for you, cared yeah. for you. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I was living with him. I loved him. Wow. He loved so me. Clearly it work, yeah. I was about to say, nice all of a sudden. But it was no. But it was eight years. You cannot say that. Eight because, years of a good relationship. Eight years yeah, of a nice guy eight, living yeah. together. Yeah. Randomly, no, this traumatized years, feelings. These, this trauma came out of nowhere. You got triggered. Randomly. Nothing that he did. Nothing. And then you ruined the okay, relationship. So some stuff that it was doing was triggering me into some what he yeah, coughed too hard I, mean, I thought he was peaceful <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't want to go into detail because i respect that's that fine yeah. you don't have to go into you detail my point about. is this nice guys there's a reason why they say nice guys finish last not always being available makes you more attractive that's just that's, that's, that's not just, true i'm with a that's nice guy true. right now and i've literally left every toxic guy because they were toxic i come from a family that isn't the healthiest so i want something that's healthy okay healthy. look you do realize that your own personal experiences don't necessarily reflect the realities of the world how okay. can you say okay. that okay. Stop, 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 stop. we can't we can't yours. correlate it to all women just world. because you're saying you like nice guys doesn't mean that a majority of women like nice so guys. then i'm different okay so then that means congratulations women can be you different. might be an exception to the rule but a lot of women don't like nice guys okay, and punish so nice who guys nice so guys there are women that are good but i think just asking who likes nice guys at this table none of you guys said you wanted a guy to guy. That's the furthest nice guy pill. <laughs> I had a question. 
I like There's a reason guys. why nice guys finish last and stood the test of time, and it's a saying because women punish men that pedestalize them. That's the point. Just because you don't punish your guy for pedestalizing you doesn't mean that a majority of women aren't. Okay, nice fair. guys finish last is a saying that simps use to try to justify why they don't have a woman. Yeah. You can be a nice, nice guy. No, 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 they're not. They're <laughs> losers usually. Yeah, and like, they're people that are nice. nice. No, 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 no. They're it's, nice. No, no. They're There's nice. nothing nice about being a clingy, desperate yeah, loser. I agree. Most nice. yeah. nice guys, guys call to women. No, no, no. They're not nice. Women don't like them. They're actually very annoying. Super annoying. Nobody. Okay, no, I so agree. they're nice guys for a reason. They want to smash without saying it directly. That's yes. why they're nice. They're nice guys because they're, they're creepy. So, so they're nice. being fake nice. Yes. I, actually. Yes. But actual nice guys do pretty well. Kind because most people like being respected. That's and not what the phrase is about. I agree. But that's not what the phrase is about though. That is what the phrase is no, about. When not. people say that's anytime fair. you hear a guy be like, nice guys finish last, it's usually some loser that's creepy, clingy, and has nothing going on for him. Listen, bro, I'm a nice guy, but I have an edge to me, which makes me not as nice. Sure. You're saying simps. Are nice guys, right? I'm saying that not nice always. guys finish last is not necessarily true. Yeah, people yeah. like people that are, when people say, "Here's a saying that people say, women like assholes." No, they don't. They like guys that can be confident and aggressive, but it doesn't even have yeah, to be a dick, so right? Like I can tell like an edgy joke to a woman where I joke about like a dress or something. That's going to hit a lot differently than calling a woman fat and old, right? Yeah. One of those is like aggressive yeah. and confident and edgy, and the other is just fucking mean. Nobody wants to be with an actual asshole. That's not yeah. like a fun experience. You just want to be somebody that's confident, has an edge to them. Yeah. You have a better. You have a better chance being a not being. A dick than being a nice guy is the point. If we had to go off two extremes, the point is this: it, this is the bottom line. Don't pedestalize women. Sure, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't think literally your wife be, is pedestalizing. Can, can, can I just you say can real quick? Nice spending all your time, spending all your time with your chick is pedestalizing it to is. a degree. But can I just say one one it thing? Is. I like okay, so I get what you guys are saying. Definitely makes sense. Like when you separate with someone, when you're in the heat of an argument, then that can diffuse things, and it can also cause you to not pedestalize your woman. But should we really be doing that and making these ridiculous, you know, uh, rules like we need to live separately versus just learning how to personally develop ourselves to have these conversations in our relationships and actually work through these hardships and difficult times versus needing to literally vacate and go to a whole separate place just to diffuse the tension or not like isn't this something that we can learn intrinsically no, here's just one-on-one -on -one in relationships a lot, of those, hold on, a lot of those conversations oh, yeah. are just for the women it's for women to talk it out because she's feeling emotional so that you can bring the man down to an emotional level that's going to make me more beta it's going to make me my energy is going to be lower. I'm going to be at your level. You're going to cry. I'm going to have to talk it out. We're going to watch a thing. We're going to cuddle. And that's, I'm not going to be at my <laughs> perfect self. Gay! I'm going to be gay. I don't, I don't want to be gay. I'd rather be at my, I'm not being able to talk nice. to women, not being able to live with women. Like this you is can what talk you're talking about. Is the gay is shit. Yeah. You're you describing can, gay shit. It's a little bit of an I want to be, be, I want to be able to talk yeah. to my woman, but a lot of those conversations that you're talking about where you need to get to know them all the time, you want to see the good and the bad. I want to see all, I want to see the real you. I don't want to see all the bad stuff. I want to know about it, but why do I have to deal with that? A good relationship is about putting your best foot forward at okay. all times and making dealing? each other happy. Why, so. hold on, why does love for a lot of these people equate to being showing your bad stuff too? Crying all the time, arguing, that's the real, no, it doesn't have to be that. Why can't we just put our best foot forward at all times? You do because that in every higher other- that You don't do that in every relationship. You don't do that with your friendships either. You don't do it with your family relationships. Ideally you do. No, absolutely That's not. the most absolutely ideal not. friendship. Friends are supposed to be there for you when you're down too. Right, Facebook, not just like only my best foot forward, right? Okay, look, right, look, look, I... this is gonna end all. The, the yeah. bottom line is this simply, why, why, and why you should not live with your girl. It makes you more attractive as a man, period. None of y'all can argue that. Because okay. you're working on yourself, you're busy, you're not always available. These are things that are inherently attractive. So therefore, you will be more attractive to your girl, even though she doesn't like it. That's the bottom line, why you should not live with a girl. It's not from the female perspective, it's from the male perspective, but you being a more attractive mate, not always being available. All right. Well, she, you you know, on on a at a deeper then, level, as a man, yeah, let's let's Twitter be, too. we're on YouTube and Rumble, guys, come on over. Let's say we argue, right? And we become at odds. And you say, you know what? Fuck this nigga. I'm about to call the police and say that he, he hit me. Guess what? <laughs> now I'm on the house and you can stay in the house for free. So ultimately speaking, it could be in a man's not best interest for, to live with you because you can mess him up at any point in time. But that's All right, if you're well, with, with a toxic girl that would call the police. Yeah. Like you. Every, like you. Why yeah. No, but yeah. that's not. Toxic. Yeah. Okay. Toxic. Yeah, but to toxic has toxic. multiple meanings. And what she's saying is <laughs> she that. She said she was what toxic. She's, I mean, I, what she's more so talking about <laughs> is that she, sometimes you develop. Wait, are you a lawyer? I know you're a lawyer. Sometimes you develop self sabotaging wow. behavior and you become wow. aware of it and you try to heal and grow and learn. So now the next time that she comes in, into a serious relationship, she'll be more aware of those things that trigger her and she'll be able to better move through those feelings. But why is that my problem? Oh, wait, time out. <laughs> 
what I wanted to say before was that you yourself said, oh, you can't apply this standard to the world universally. But then here you are trying to apply standards universally to all women. So that's a neutral perspective. You cannot no, oh, majority, apply. Majority, you cannot majority. apply universal things. The bottom line is that I will have my dating preferences and I will have my standards and I will have my expectations. And the girl next to me might have completely different ones. The man across, you might have completely different ones. We don't need to compare and contrast. I'm going to look for somebody that aligns with my sets, whatever they are. Mm -hmm. You're going to look for somebody that aligns with yours and we're both going to live full, happy lives. Right. Like there's the debate and the argument of like you trying to get people to agree. It's like what we're trying to agree on is not going to ever be agreeable because we're all different people. So it's like you're applying universal thinking. Yeah, but there are things that people. women are universally attracted to, and not being available is definitely one of them. There okay, is, but not there is a difference, real quick. There is like, a difference between like when you open a relationship versus like when you're married, right? Like if you're, for instance, if you're like just getting to know a girl, even all agree that there are certain things you could keep in mind. So for instance, not responding to her text immediately or some shit like that. There are some games you could play that, that might be understandable to make it so more desirable. But at this point, like if I text my wife or she texts me, we have to respond instantly. Why the fuck are we playing games with each other? We're fucking yeah, married. We're past I, that shit, right? I feel like also, once you get I'm, past the early game shit, you should be able to just be nah, open it up. Bro, that's a, see, that's why so many guys get a bad relationship. Like, the, like, yo, you got to keep playing the game <laughs> even when you're in the relationship with the girl because the thing with women is that they're emotional creatures. You got to constantly stimulate their emotions. But that's so yeah, sad women for are you because you always emotion. have your guard up. Why don't you get your guard down? If you're always playing games with a girl, you're like... The because reason why men have to play games them. with women is because women's are the fucking uh, like they literally play the games. They start the games. Okay. There's not a game. Women are the ones, are the ones that say, "Oh, I'm not gonna text him back," or "Let me pretend to try hard." Some not women try hard. does that. Some a, men a does of, that. But a not lot of women play most. games. The reason I why, that yo, girls you, I wish we could walk up to girls and be like. I find you attractive. Let's fornicate. But that would never work because women don't operate that way. You guys don't operate on direct communication. I, mean, I wish I could go up to y'all and tell you what I really think, can but I, I can't. I have to play games. I have to pretend like I'm attracted to you. I have to pretend like I'm going to go ahead and care about your fucking problems. I got to take you on three dates. I got to hear your shit, blah, blah, blah. I got to bring you back to my place. Make sure the place is clean. You don't make sure you feel do comfortable. That? Yeah, you that's not part. It's called being in a relationship. No, 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 no. It's called that, dating. What I'm, trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that Women want the game, so you have to play the game. So the thing is, is that you got to play the game better than them. And the big part to play the game is to maintain the leverage, have, make sure she likes you more than you like her, and make sure that you stay attractive. But staying mm -hmm. attractive a lot of times comes in from not always being available. That's what Okay, can like. I ask one question, and I'll yeah, give you all the floor. Sure, sure. For, can we go around the table? How many girls here have been in a, a decently long-term relationship? So we'll say six months plus that have enjoyed having a guy like fuck with your head like this, where you're uh, like, oh yeah, like he's not responding to me for a week that. or whatever. They're not going to admit that, bro. Admit that, bro. Okay. It's a no, toxic trait. <laughs> they they want to admit that. that. Who would? I no, like. I've, I've, I've talked to a lot of women. I've never heard somebody say, "Yeah, I'm like my boyfriend." He didn't text me emotion. back for like three days, and that was just like the best they thing in my life. It's like stimulating. And Especially on camera, they won't say it. Most women are addicted mm -hmm. to emotions, so it's a stimulant. What is most women are addicted to emotions? Everybody's addicted women to emotions. We're emotional emotions. creatures. So it's a stimulant. It's a stimulant because you don't get complacent in it. If you're constantly wondering, like, "Damn, does this nigga?" Okay, that's fine. But if you live your life, that keeps you literally focused on one person instead of getting attention from other people. It doesn't. And She'll lose interest. Distracted. She's not no, going to stay with you if you play against it. Number one. And number two, the only types of girl that will maintain interest are the girls that are going to show up at 6 a.m. slash your tires. That's, okay, that's the type of girls in. that you're, no, you're picking wrong. for. If you're a Absolutely. man and you have frame, she's going to respect you no, and not be that crazy. No, she won't respect you. My man can't if even live frame, with me? My man can't even live with me? You think she's going to respect that? That's, that's insane. where frame comes in. What is the frame? The frame is I can't be around you for more than four days in a row without like being weak. The frame is his dominance and knowing to put you in your place because what is your Place. That way, place he's going to you house. off. If yeah. you show up to his fucking house unannounced, he's going to be like, yo, this is done. That's where Frame comes in. She understands that, that, that you hate you her. Put that, that you're what? there to fuck. Oh yeah, you don't, yeah. Yeah. These are like the most adversarial relationships I've ever heard in my life. What? These relationships are adversarial. Are you serious right now? Yeah. <laughs> are you serious right now? Is he serious right now? If you respect somebody, nah. it doesn't matter how crazy you get, you get in your emotions, you aren't going to just pull up to their fucking house with, unannounced without their permission because you're going to know he's going to, he's not going to tolerate that. That's what frame is. Knowing that he's the leader, he's in charge. You don't go over there unless he announced, like he tells you to come. Okay. That's, that's well, frame, I think in a relationship Destiny. where two people love each other, I think showing up unannounced can be like a fun surprise sometimes. Yeah, but I guess you guys like no, fucking handle harder. No, man shows up so. on a woman. That's the, main, that's the serenading. The man shows up on the woman unannounced. It's the woman should never show up on the man unannounced. Okay. No. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's crazy. And, but... and I would say relationships, in, I mean, the, if you look at like what men want versus what women want, it's inherently ad adversarial. And the reason why is because 
men are looking for sex, women are looking for resources, time, and attention. And it's a dance between the two genders to get the other commodity from the other without giving up theirs. So, for example, that's girl, not even true, though. Really? Really? Hold on, hold on let me explain. Well, no, no, wait. Okay. Hold on. Before you do your explanation, God, like, this is the easiest thing in the world, okay? <laughs> if you, I can make so many personal attacks against you, and I'm not doing it. I love you. Listen, okay? If you go and you find an incel, okay, an actual incel, all right, what is the thing they're looking for most in life? I mean, a hug. It's not sex. They want the love and warmth and compassion of being in a relationship, right? That's and, what people, that's sex. what guys, and the sex, and sure. But not just sex, but the idea that somebody loves them and accepts them enough to have sex with them. That's why you can't tell an incel, yo, just go buy a prostitute and go fuck her for a night. Or that's why you can't tell any man, like, if you make enough money, just fuck a different hooker every night. Because you don't want to fuck a hooker. You want somebody that loves and accepts you. That's right. part of being you, in a relationship. Here's the thing. You, you didn't refute what I, what I was trying to say was the, the two genders are, in, are adversarial in general. And the reason why is because both parties want something from the other without necessarily giving up their situation. I'll give you, if you guy court a girl right she wants time attention and resources from that man before she gives him sex right and uh i guess uh how do we say this an indicator of a man having good game is being able to not give all that up while simultaneously getting sex that's what the parameter that guys use to establish if a guy has good game so what i'm saying is that the two genders want want the commodity that the other one has without giving up their commodity so it's inherently adversarial now i get what you're saying oh well you're in a relationship etc you still have to play the game when you're with your wife i think the, i think the goal is that if you're with a person you enjoy giving them the time, the attention, the resources, because it makes both of you happy. But if you give it to them in an abundant fashion, they don't respect it anymore. And here's the thing, dude, I wish it wasn't like that, but women don't respect you when they have leverage. I think when you're selecting for crazy women like this, maybe, but for mm. most women, I think they want you to want to spend time and attention and resources on them. To, because to it's get fun. the best out of your girl, to get the best out of your girl, where she's super loyal to you, she's not doing anything else on the side, she fucking only loves and admires, respects you, there's no fuck shit, and she stays loyal to you, you must have the leverage as the man. Sure. She must and have if the fear spending... of God that you, if you leave her, her life is going to suck significantly more. So what's she going to do? She's going to be walking. I'm telling you, X women shows. operate the best mm -hmm. when they're stepping on eggshells, not trying to get you mad or get broken up with. I think if That's you spend three works. days a week away from your woman, she's going to be sucking other dick in like two months. Tops. That's not like, true. That, that means she never liked her. You never liked her. You never liked her. Yeah. Can I ask you guys a question about this? Like, wait, no, actually, I'm going to ask you guys a question. No, actually, ultimate question, okay? The best way to get loyalty then is should be military men because they're leaving for fucking years at a time and they get cheated on it like two weeks after they step out of the house. Loyalty to your country versus loyalty to a woman are two different things. It's That's not about how, how much time. The two. Like, Come on, man. Years is different than a couple days. Bumble <laughs> Bad argument.